Alright, what's up, y'all? So I'm gonna just do this under 10 minutes really quick if I can, because that's as far as Bandit Cam allows me to go with the unpurchased version. So, let's hop on in. Uh, let's just get to it. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. What in the fuck is going on in Game of Thrones right now? Everything is so fucking... Oh my goodness. First of all... I don't mind the first two episodes with talking. That's what kind of the first, second, third, and fourth season had a lot of. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is first, episode three, talking about... Was it episode three or episode four? I don't fucking know. The one where the Night King attacks Winterfell. What in the fuck is going on? First of all... The Unsullied were in front of the trenches. Or the whatever. What? Hold on, even. Rivers. Why would you have the Dothraki, a hundred thousand of them? I'm going to assume that was all of them, and she has one King's Landing. Don't know fucking how. Anyway. Um. You're going to send them into darkness. Knowing clear well what the White Walkers have done. Ugh. Jeez. And then the second point, the Unsullied in front of the trenches. The Unsullied are meant to hold the gates. Not fucking be behind something that is meant to hold things off. I'm just saying, like in Melisandre, obviously her word came in power and the whole thing lit up and yada yada yada. The Unsullied should have been in the front of, actually, no one should have been in the field anyway. Like, there's that quote, anyone would be a fool to meet the Dothraki in an open field. Well, whoever meets the undead in the open field is a bigger fool. That's the most dumbest thing I ever fucking heard of. I would have had the Dothraki, I would have had the Dothraki inside and the Unsullied possibly outside the gates. Third complaint. <sighs> the Night King is attacking. The man who has raised the dead. Let's hide the women and the children in the crypts. What? What? And second of all, like, I mean, I don't know why he didn't, they didn't have the dragons just burning the fucking, uh, undead from the get-go. Like, nah, we're just gonna let our, our, uh, our Dothraki die. And summon Sullied, and then we're gonna bring in the dragons. Hell yeah. More like, hell no. Hell no. <sighs> Force complaint. Varys' death. I don't know what is going on with this Game of Thrones season, and it doesn't even have to do with this season. This goes back to Littlefinger's death. Y'all are telling me the mastermind I've seen in season 1, season 2, season 3, season 4, season 5 is not going to book it the hell out of Winterfell after he hears... Let me see if I can even find it. Hang on, I'll find it for y'all. The last man who wielded it meant to cut your throat, but your mother fought him off. The other dagger, the one that took her life. I would have stopped that dagger with my own heart if I could have. I wasn't there for her when she needed me most. But I am here for her now. To do what she would have done. To protect her children. Anything I can do for you, Brandon. Need only ask. Do you know who this belonged to? No. That very question was what started the War of the Five Kings. In a way, that dagger made you what you are today. Forced from your home. Driven out to the wilds beyond the wall. 
I imagine you've seen things most men wouldn't believe. To go through all of that and make your way home again only to find such chaos in the world. I can only imagine. Chaos is a ladder. Y'all telling me Littlefinger isn't hopping out of there? Listen, if I'm Littlefinger and I heard, skirt, that chaos is a ladder, I'm calling up my damn horse, and I'm bucking it the fuck out of there. Littlefinger must have lost his damn mind. If a person said that to me, like, let me say, uh, in the past I was like, you know, I want those shoes with the red laces. And, like, that has somehow, that fucked someone over because the dude didn't get his shoes. And I was like, oh, da, da, da. I don't know. Somehow I took some dude's shoes. I really didn't in the past. I'm just using it as an example. And then this dude who I knew who I took the shoes from is sitting in front of me. He's like, I want the red shoe. I want the shoes with the red laces. Says exactly what I said. I'm up out of there, bro. Because this dude knows something from the past. Like, Brand. In Littlefinger's perspective, wasn't even there. How the fuck does he know that? The only thing, the only thing I can see Littlefinger possibly trying to do is like, oh, he heard it from his mother or his blah, blah, or his blah, blah. But even then, I'm still not going to risk it, bro. Fuck no. I'm up out of there like the fucking wind. So Peter died. Littlefinger died the stupid shit. And then Varys died the stupid shit. And Varys... Ferris is a fucking idiot. Like, do, do they not remember? Here, I'm gonna go find it. What madness led you to tell the queen you had learned the truth about Joffrey's birth? Varys, what led you to the madness of telling everyone in the fucking King's Landing and Westeros that Jon Snow is Rhaegar Targaryen? Y'all both got executed for the same fucking reason. Almost. Basically, Ned just told the people that Joffrey was a bastard or a fucking incest and yada yada yada. He really wasn't heir to the throne. And Varys is like, well, hey, Jon Snow is actually Rhaegar Targaryen and he actually is the heir to the throne. It's like y'all both got, got bodied for the same fucking reason. Just in different aspects. Did you forget this, Varys? What is going on? And now, I don't even know what the fuck was going on in the last scene where the bells rung and she was like, Arr! and she started burning up the whole fucking King's Landing. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. Did you forget what you were all about up in Marine? I guess you did. Because that's some bullshit. <laughs> I'm serious. I was like. Get the fuck out of here. And then the, the fifth, the, the last episode, there's the Thraki yelling, ah, I'm like. You know what, I, I'm just like, I don't even know anymore. Are y'all gonna fucking attack the North now? Or what? And Arya, what, is she gonna run back to Winterfell? Like, here's where I think the conflict's gonna come in, gonna come up, it's gonna be like, John, this bitch, blah, 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 Sansa agrees, Bran's like, wah, and the shrug, still high as fuck. John's like, you know what, I really don't give a fuck, I'm going back to the north, y'all can deal with this bullshit yourself. Skirt! And then, uh, Sansa's gonna be like, fine, we'll go to war with this bitch. Even though, if, if that's true, I'm like, uh, dragon, no dragon. I know who's going to win. I mean, I mean, seriously, no dragon versus a dragon. Who the fuck are y'all voting on? I mean, that's like saying, <laughs> that's like saying a, a, a beetle, a beetle car versus a fucking monster truck. <laughs> who's going to win? The monster truck. As long as she has that dragon, she is powerful. But when that dragon disappears, she's just a fucking another girl. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to fucking, didn't mean for y'all to see that. But anyway, yeah, that's where I'm just going to end it right now. Anyway, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Excuse this fucking nightlight bullshit. Thanks for watching again, guys. Peace out.